So I visited Placerville, California for Thanksgiving and then went down to Main Street for the tree lighting ceremony. So Placerville is actually called Old Hangtown because they used to hang all the criminals uh, here in town at the Hangman's Tree, which is now actually an ice cream parlor of all things. It used to be a bar. And um, or at least I think it used to be a bar. And that's actually where the tree was that used to hang everybody. And legend is, is that there's actually a stump of the original tree down in the basement of this building. Uh, I've never actually confirmed that, but I do know that there are tunnels that run underneath Placerville. Um, who knows what those were actually used for. I know the town burned down a couple times uh, over its lifetime. Uh, but anyway, Placerville is a, it's, this whole area is gold country. It's gold mining country. And actually just a little ways down Highway 49 is where they discovered gold at Sutter's Mill down in Coloma. So this place has a bunch of history to it. And sometimes you find some really interesting pieces of, of radioactive pieces like antiques in some of these shops. And so they cleared out all the cars and the cops are telling everyone they get out of there so they can actually open it up. I figured while I was down there, I'd pop into a couple of antique shops. Now I've been to these antique shops before, but that's the cool thing about antique shops is that actually, if you give them enough time, they kind of replenish themselves with new items. And so you might find something and, and buy like a cool item down there and then go there six months later and it's totally new stuff they've rearranged it that's what makes antique shops and especially like hunting for radioactive antiques in these areas so so exciting and i mean some people might not think of it as very exciting but i do I found this birthday cake stein. At least that's what it said on the tag. So it was birthday cake stein, which, uh, I, you know, I guess it kind of looks like a birthday cake. Uh, but what's interesting is that it has this uranium glaze on some of these like little decorations. And I haven't seen that before. And so I figured, you know what, this is a good piece to pick up and actually add to my collection because I, I like finding stuff that's kind of like unique. And I haven't run into too many radioactive beer steins, at least ones that had actual uranium uh, glazed onto the outside of this. But the inside of the beer stein actually isn't radioactive. You get a little bit of residual radiation, probably from the gamma rays going through right here, right through the, the beer stein. But you can actually probably drink beer out of this and it wouldn't be harmful to you at all. Uh, maybe I should try that out. But anyway, uh, it's interesting that the inside of this uh, isn't corroded at all, but the outside is. And so it looks like this probably sat somewhere for a very long time, uh, just getting dust and maybe some water on here or something like that that corroded the top of this. And I'm not sure what this is made out of. It feels like uh, maybe some type of uh, steel or um, something like that, maybe tin. Uh, I don't think it's lead. <laughs> That's what I always worry about too, is that some of these old antiques uh, sometimes they use lead in them and so you got to be kind of careful i really don't want to have uh you know i want to keep my ingestion of lead to an absolute minimum uh as close to nothing as i can but anyway this is a cool piece to find i it does have some type of stamp on here maybe it kind of looks like 1440 or maybe it says 1940 it that'd be a very interesting year if that's actually when this was made or it might have been, um, uh, you know, this is the number of how many they actually made of these. And so maybe there's a whole bunch of them somewhere. I don't know where. But it's interesting because the time in which they would make something like this in this type of style, it would have been in the 30s and into the 40s. And so this might have been made if it was made in Germany right around World War II. 
hard to say. Uh, if it was actually made in Germany, usually beer steins are kind of a German thing or an Austrian thing, and so it's hard to say. I'm I'm not sure. Uh, I would love to know if there was some other type of uh, you know history about this. It looks like there is like some type of some type of mark here. I'm not sure what that is, huh? But anyway, very cool. I'm glad I found it. So Empire Antiques actually used to be the theater in downtown Plattsville, the movie theater. Before that, it was actually a stage theater. But that's actually where I learned how to do projection, was down at Empire Theater. Now it's an antique mall, which I was very sad to see that happen. But this place brings like a lot of memories. And like in this one area, this is actually where the safe was for the theater. And we'd all sit on that and watch everyone on Main Street. And up here, you can actually see, like up above, you can actually see the port glasses for the projection booth that's up there. Now, I haven't been up to the projection booth since I stopped working there, and that was 20 years ago or so. And so, yeah, I wonder what's up there. I'm sure they took all the projectors out of there. So I found a bunch of uranium glass at some of these antique shops. And I always like finding that stuff. And sometimes you do find some really kind of original pieces, but most of it's kind of like the same type of style and it's not too terribly radioactive. It is pretty cool though. I mean, it does glow under UV light and uh, that is like a really fascinating part of it. Uh, those other uranium glazed ceramics do not glow under UV light. So after all this exploration of the antique shops, it was time for the tree lighting ceremony, and man, did it get 
packed down there. It was a little much for me. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, it was cool. It was nice to be back in town for that short amount of time and to see family and to explore these antique malls. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. And if you did, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.